Runway just released the frame interpolation magic tool and I wanna show you ways that I have been using it because there really are more applications for it than you would think. You've probably seen a lot of these videos recently where there are shape-shifting, morphing objects in these very surreal scenes. The results from frame interpolation don't have to be this extreme. In fact, it works well in creating videos with some subtle movement. If you're like me and you're shooting rapid fire when you're taking a picture of something, frame interpolation can help you create moments from just those photos and it imbues some motion into your otherwise still images. The more frames you have to work with, the better. But again, I try to keep the differences in these photos very subtle so it doesn't have to interpolate large motion. Frame interpolation also works really well with other tools. Erase and Replace is a great tool to combine with frame interpolation because you can generate variations of one image and combine them to create these very interesting morphs between objects in the video. Like in this example of a shot with mountains in the distance, I can erase parts of the mountains and generate a similar but different type of mountain so that when I interpolate the two, it creates this feeling like the mountains are kind of alive. I also use frame interpolation to create a moving composite of several images and having frame interpolation generate a smooth video from it as if it was all part of one scene. For example, I took this photo of a plane, then I took two very similar images of just clouds, and then I composited the plane on each image of the clouds, creating two composites that are just slightly different between each other. The plane is a little bit ahead, the clouds are slightly in a different place, and when these two images are interpolated, it creates this very peaceful, calming video of a plane in the sky. So while this tool is simple, the results can be pretty expansive. And not only does it look cool, it's a lot of fun to play with. There's been many results that people have been coming up with, and I would love to see what you can create with frame interpolation.